everybody and welcome to another Fit For Good online session with me, Jordan. Now I just want to say before we start, I do want to apologise for the sound of my voice. It's a little bit croaky. This session was filmed at the end of the first week when gyms reopened after the lockdown. And as you can imagine, I've been doing loads of classes where I've had to raise my voice to encourage people. So now my voice is feeling a little bit croaky where I've just used it so much. So I do apologise if you can't hear me properly or I have to clear my voice a few times during the session. However, that said, I hope you're staying safe and I hope you're ready for a really good workout today. Today we're doing strength and conditioning. We're mixing weights with cardio and putting them together. This will make you stronger, fitter, faster, and it will make you more explosive as well, i.e. it will make you quicker. Now, for today's session, you're going to need a couple of things. Most importantly, is a bottle or a glass of water that is there, ready for you to drink whenever you are thirsty. The second thing you're going to need is a set of weights. Now, if you've got your own dumbbells, then feel free to use those. However, if you're like me, you can use a household item. Today I'm using two jars of pasta sauce because they're easy to hold and they add a little bit of resistance for when we do our strength work. That said, if you don't want to use any weights today, you just don't feel like it, then that is absolutely fine. You can do all of the movements today with just your body weight. The only other thing you're gonna need is a chair, or a sofa, something for you to sit on for when you need some rest. And that's it. I'm really excited for our session today and I hope you are too. Now let's get ready because we are going to warm up. Right, let's get ready to warm up. Just follow along with me and do the best you can. If I say you have to do 10 reps and you can't do 10 reps, you get too tired, then don't. It is just a warm up, so please don't overdo it. But that said, by the end of it, I want you to feel nice and warm. Right, are we ready to go? Let's start circling our arms. We're gonna do 10 big circles forward, and then I'm gonna go for up to 10 big circles backwards. As I said, I'm not gonna count my reps today, you just follow along with me, and when I change exercise, then you change as well. Long, deep breaths as well. Don't hold your breath, basically. That's number nine, and this is my last one. So now let's go backwards. Another 10 reps going backwards. Just warming up the shoulders to begin with, starting with the upper body before working down to the lower body. Oh, really feeling that. If you're doing this uh, exercise session, First thing in the morning, then this should feel like a really nice stretch. Really good to open the body after a good night's sleep. Because we're generally a little bit tighter in the mornings, so it's nice to get the blood flowing. Right, this is number nine for me, and that's number ten. Right, we're going to do the same with our shoulders. Squeeze your fists, and let's rotate up to ten backwards. You're trying to make these as big as possible. I'm bringing them up to my ears, back and down and forwards. Just try to make really, really, really big circles. Oh, lovely. This is my number nine and number 10. Now we're gonna go forward, so follow along with me. One. Great work. All right, again, make them as big as you can. Nice, big circles, three to go. Oh, lovely. And you might need to shake out the shoulders a bit, wiggle the hips a little bit as well, get it moving. Right. Now we're going to do our wrists. So I want you to squeeze your fists and we're going to do 10 circles in one direction and then 10 circles in the other direction. Right, let's get ready to go. Whenever you're ready. You might feel a few clicks during the warm up, as long as they don't hurt, completely normal. So don't worry about that. And again, just remember long deep breaths throughout. And now I'm going back the other way. Nice, big, huge circles. Wrists can get very tight, especially if you sit over a computer all day or you're on your phone a lot, so it's important that we open them up. There we go, give the hands a shake. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give myself a nice old cuddle. And now what I'm gonna do is bring my arms backwards as far as I can within reason. 
Uh, we're trying to open up the pectoral muscles, this area here, which is responsible, or one of the areas responsible for bringing the shoulders forward and creating that hunched posture. We're gonna do up to 20 reps, so let's get started. Hug yourself and bring it back, whenever you're ready. Try and stand nice and tall. Lovely. As I said, up to 20 reps. If that's too many for you, then just stop and rest until I start the next warm-up exercise. Well done. I've got five to go. This is my third, second, and then last. Lovely. Right, the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open up through the back of the body. We're gonna do this nice and slowly. So let's have our feet as close together as possible. If sticking them together like I have, uh, sends your balance off a bit and just go a little bit wider. You want to feel nice and stable in this position as well. So what I'm going to do, feet as close as possible, stand up tall, follow along with me by the way, tuck your chin, round the shoulders forward and very slowly and very gently I'm just going to let my body go as low as it can naturally. So I'm not forcing anything. Wherever my body stops, I'm going to stop there. I'm not going to try and touch my toes or the floor. If you can, then great. I'm not there at the moment, but as we start to open up, I probably will be able to get there. Keep your legs as straight as possible. A little bend is fine. We're gonna be in this stretch for a little while longer. Tuck your chin and just enjoy the feeling. Long, deep breaths. We're opening up through the back of the body, the lower back, hamstrings, calves, and maybe your upper back as well, whereas you might be feeling a stretch in this position. If you need to come out early, then come out early. And when you do come out, we're gonna do it very slowly. Three, two, one, and very, very slowly, start coming out of that position, nice and easy, bit by bit, and then I'm gonna circle my shoulders back a couple of times into that nice, neutral posture. Well done. Hold on to your hips for the next stretch. Go a little bit wider in your feet, around about shoulder width. And now I'm gonna do 10 circles round to the right, starting now, so get going. And then we're gonna do up to 10 circles round to the left. Be nice and gentle in this position. You're trying to get as much range as possible. So that's it, that, that means make them as big as possible. Lovely. I've got three to go, so just change what I do. And let's go back the other way, well done. Nice to get the hips moving in all different directions. They can get very tight, our hips, and cause a whole load of problems. So it's very important that when we do some exercise like we are today, uh, we loosen them up a bit, just to prevent any injuries from happening, or help prevent them, should I say. Lovely, and that's 10 reps for me there. Right, go near to your chair or your sofa, whatever you're using to sit down on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go for 10 reps or up to 10 reps, as I kept saying. You're just gonna sit down and stand up, just like so. I want you to keep your chest up as much as possible. To do this, I think the best way is to keep your arms up or a hand on either shoulder with your elbows up. It's completely up to you. I wanna try and keep my feet nice and flat on the floor as well, so if that can't, if that's not happening, or you find you're just coming onto your, your, your toes, your knees are going too far forward, your, your heels are coming off the ground, then make your feet a little bit wider, or put a cushion on your chair or your sofa so you don't have to go as low. That's usually one of the reasons why uh, you come off, off your heels and onto your toes. So nice flat foot, feet at shoulder width, up to 10 reps, let's go. Nice and slowly I'm doing these. Sitting down, and then standing up. As I say, if you're doing up to 10 reps, if you finish before I do, feel free to rest, or feel free to do a little bit more if you want to do a bit more. Or if 10 is too much, then just do less. It's not a problem at all. What warms someone up will be different for what warms someone else up. Again, remember to breathe. You might feel some tightness in this area, maybe in the ankles, the groin, the knees, and we're just trying to get the blood flowing, get them nice and warm. This is my last one. That's it, 10 repetitions. Great work. Now, shake the legs out a bit, because we're gonna do the same again. However, this time, we're not gonna use the chair. 
So this time I'm going to do a body weight squat. There's a few things you need to think about with this that's a little bit different from the chair because we know we have the safety of the chair when we do the sit to stance. So when we squat, everything is the same of what I just said. Feet are at shoulders, feet nice and flat, arms or elbows up. However, in a squat, I don't want you to bend the knees first. I want you to send your hips backwards. Like so, like you're about to perch on a stool. So send the hips backwards. I want the knees to track the little toes so our knees aren't shaking as we go down. They're going out, a nice bit of tension in, in the side of the legs and in the glutes. And as we go down, I just want you to stop wherever it feels natural to stop and come back up. We're going to do up to 10 reps whenever you are ready. So send the hips back, knees out, only go as low as you can stay upright or it feels natural to. Well done. Nice, slow, controlled reps. Again, remember to breathe in the nose, out the mouth. Lovely. Again, if 10 is too much, then don't do 10. Ooh, lovely. Three more to go. Well done. Nine. And this will be my last one. And 10. Lovely. Right. Sit down on your chair or your sofa. Sit nice and tall. If you need a bit more rest, I'll, I'll give you a little bit more rest for a second. I'll have a sip of water. If you need one, have one as well. Mm. Now, sit nice and tall, hands at your shoulders, and we're going to do a body weight shoulder press, just like this. Nice and tall, don't lean back. We're going to do up to 12 reps in three, two, one. Warming up the shoulders now. Again, remember to breathe. Oh, I'm a bit clicky this morning as well. If you are as well, I am. I'm a bit clicky. Lovely. Great work. I'm on number seven. We're going up to 12. So it's like we've got weights in our hand, but we have them. The reason we're doing this is because we've got some similar movements coming up today. And that was my 12. Oh, shake out the shoulders. That definitely gives you an ache, or definitely gives me an ache anyway. Right. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to do our aerobic warm-up. Now, this part of the warm-up is a little bit more intense, but again, work at your own pace. Do, don't overdo it at all, but I want you to feel warm by the end of it. We're going to do a mixture of aerobic movements. We're going to do 30 seconds on each movement. We've got four movements, which is two minutes in total. Nice and easy. All right, stand up. And what we're going to do is some boxing in three, Two, one, little punches, let's go. Up and down, left and right, backwards and forwards, just for 30 seconds. Again, I'm still trying to warm my arms up, but this time you're just doing small little punches all around, just remember to breathe. If you want to have a little move around as well, you're more than welcome, just watch out for anything around you. We've got five seconds till we change it. Right, we're going to do some jogging on the spot in three, Two, one, jog on the spot. You can walk if jogging's a bit too intense for you. And you can go around your room as well. But again, just watch out for anything around, lying on the floor, anything like that. I don't want you to trip over or bump into anything. So just be careful. Great work. In 10 seconds, we're gonna go for some star jumps. Just follow along with me. Oh, I'm definitely getting a lot warmer now. Three, two, one, star jumps. Move your arms and legs left to right. This is uh, the low impact version. This is the high impact version. You're choosing one of these, whichever one gets you warm, but doesn't make you overdo it, basically. Great work. Lovely. 10 seconds until we're gonna be back jogging on the spot, or walking if you prefer. Three, two, one, jogging on the spot. This is the last one and the last bit of the warm up. Again, if you want to have a little wander around your room, you're more than welcome. And again, if you just want to walk, just walk. It's not a problem at all. You've got 15 seconds until we're resting. Great work. That's it, 10 seconds. Almost there. We've got five, four, 
three, two, one. And breathe in the nose and out the mouth. Well done. Have a sit down. That is our warm up done and dusted with, if that's uh, the correct saying. Um, hopefully you feel nice and warm. I certainly do. However, if you don't, please rewind some of this warm up and do it again. It's very important before we do any you know, serious exercise, before we do any of our main workouts, that you are nice and warm, because this helps prevent injury. If you're warm enough, then great. We are gonna move on to our main workout, but I do recommend that you pause the video for at least three minutes and give yourself some rest and time to recover. We've got to let that heart rate go down slightly again before we bring it back up. Well done, everybody. Get ready for our first workout today. Right, I hope you're ready for workout number one. We're going to be doing some strength and conditioning. And what I mean by that is, we're going to be moving some weights quickly. Now, in the past, I've always suggested we move them slowly to build the strength and to show we can control those weights. And I completely still agree with that. I think we should always move weights slowly to build that prerequisite strength before we move quickly. But moving quickly with weights also has its benefits. It makes you stronger, fitter, quicker and more explosive. It also carries over quite well to real life as well. Because let's say I'm in the supermarket, I'm in a rush, I've got to get home, I pick up my shopping bags, I'm moving really quickly to my car. In that case, I'm picking up two objects and moving quickly. So this is training you for those situations so you don't injure yourself. That said, if you do have any injuries, shoulders, hips, knees, ankles, etc., I'd recommend doing all of the exercises slowly today. And I'd also recommend them doing slowly if this is your first session or your second session or even your third session. Because you want to build up that foundational strength first before you move quickly. You could keep doing our FFG sessions for a couple of weeks and then revisit this one and then move quickly. Moving quickly is for those who have been doing the sessions consistently for a month, six weeks, etc. But that said, if you haven't, just do everything that we're doing nice and slowly. Now, the way it's going to work, we've got three different exercises. Each exercise you're going to do for 40 seconds. You're then going to get a 20 second rest. After all three exercises, you're going to get a whole minute off. How does that sound? Pretty nice, right? Well, in a second, I'm going to start my timer. Remember, you haven't got to use any weights today. However, if you are, then great. But again, you can do it all with just your body weight. Now I'm going to explain exercise number one because it's the most technical and then I'm going to explain the next two in that transitional period between the exercises. So just watch me for the, uh, for the moment, sorry. You don't need to do anything, just watch me. We're starting off by doing a sumo deadlift and it looks like this. From the side. Now this exercise is really good at strengthening the lower back, so it's really important we do it correctly. Now, the way we're gonna do this, have your feet slightly wider than shoulders, stick your fists or your weights together, your shoulders go up, back and down into a neutral position, look forward, send the bums back, lower the weights as low as it feels comfortable. Our feet wanna be nice and flat on the ground the whole time. So no coming onto your toes. If that does happen, adjust your feet position, maybe go a little bit wider and don't go as low, yeah? So let's get ready for that exercise. Now, in the first round, because it's just the first round, we are gonna move slowly. We're gonna add the quick element in rounds two and round three. Yeah, sound good? Well, I'm gonna start my timer. 10 seconds, pick up your weights, or just your, put your fists together. Squeeze them together, shoulders back and down. Three, two, one. We're starting off slowly today before we add that speed in the second or third rounds. Remember to breathe. It's 40 seconds of work. 
and you're going to get 20 seconds of rest at the end of this 40 seconds. Send the bum back, knees go out, I'm grabbing hold of the floor with my feet, you've got 15 seconds left. Well done. No rounding over in this position please, pull those shoulders back, look forward, do not look at the floor. You've got three, two, one, 20 seconds of rest. In 20 seconds, we're gonna do a bicep curl. So nice and slow to begin with, as I was just saying, before we add the speeds in rounds two and three. It's important we warm ourselves up with the weights before adding the speed. Right, are we ready? Three, two, one. Nice, slow, bicep curl. Again, long, deep breaths. In the nose, out the mouth. Lovely, good job. Nice strict movement. Our body getting used to carrying an external load and moving it in the ways we are. Squeezing my stomach as well. Always good to brace the core. Just stop you leaning back. You've got 10 seconds. Great work. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. 20 seconds of rest. Exercise number three is our shoulder press like we did when we were sitting down in the warm-up. This time, we're gonna stay on our feet and we're gonna push those weights overhead, keeping them in a nice straight line. Do not lean back when you do it. Get ready. Three, two, one. Again, nice and slow for round number one. Again, just remembering to breathe. I'm squeezing my stomach still. Bracing my core, it's called. You're doing a great job, well done. In the nose, out the mouth. You've got 20 seconds, we're over the halfway point. You're gonna get a nice bit of rest after this. Well done. Oh, lovely. 10 seconds. Almost there. Five, three, two, one. And have a rest. Have a drink of water, I definitely recommend that, and have a sit down. Now, if all of that felt okay, and you feel ready, oh, better watch out for that. Uh, if all of that felt okay, and you feel ready, when we start the next round, we're gonna start adding some speed. Remember, if you're new, or it doesn't feel right, everything we've just did, you're gonna move at that speed. Now, we're not going yet, you've still got a bit of rest. I'm gonna explain how we're gonna do this quickly. So starting with our sumo deadlift. This is how we're gonna do it quickly. We're gonna go slowly down, and we're gonna push into the ground, stand up quickly. Slowly down, push into the ground with my feet, extend the hips, stand up quickly. Oh, pardon me. So, I'm standing up nice and quickly, giving my glutes a squeeze at the top, slow down, drive up. Slow down, drive up. Slow down, drive up. So when I'm driving up, I'm pushing into the floor and I'm standing up nice and tall. Again, don't lean back. Right, we've got 10 seconds until that starts. Grab your weights, let's give it a go. If it doesn't feel right, go back to moving slowly. Three, two, one. Slow on the way down, drive up. Push your hips out, stand up straight. Squeeze your bum. So it's like I'm being a bit explosive, a little bit violent with the movement. It's like I'm trying to jump, but I'm not jumping. Ooh, great work. Big deep breaths, we are over halfway, well done. That's it, good job. If you can't go as low as me, then don't. I'm going slow on the way down, fast on the way up. Slow on the way down, fast on the way up. Five, three, two, one, we got a bicep curl next, but this is gonna take some coordination, so give it a go. Watch me. I'm gonna bend the knees, and as I push into the ground, I'm gonna bring them up to my shoulders, lower them slowly. Bend the knees, push into the ground, bring them up to my shoulders. I'm using my legs and my hips. Three, two, one, bend the knees and drive. Bend the knees and drive. Bend the knees and drive. It's like I'm using my lower body to make my arms move. Bend the knees 
and drive. Bend the knees and drive. That's it, good job. Bend the knees and drive. When I bend the knees, I'm keeping my chest up. Still being nice and tall, just a little knee bend. We're not squatting. 15 seconds. Bend the knees and drive. Bend the knees and drive up. Bend the knees and drive up. You've got five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, well done, everybody. Remember, if it doesn't feel right, just do it like we did in round one, nice and slow. Now, for our shoulder press, similar to what we've just done, I'm gonna bend the knees and drive up. Bend the knees, push into the ground, drive up. Let's get ready to go. Three, two, one. Bend the knees, drive up. Bend the knees, drive up. Bend the knees, drive up. Yes, well done. So I'm pushing into the ground, and as a result of the power, the explosiveness, my arms are extending overhead. They're helping me, my body's helping me, not just my arms, it's helping me move these weights. So it's not strict anymore, it's dynamic. Well done, 15 seconds, Whew. that's it, good job. 10 seconds, you might find it's, it gets you a bit more out of breath. And if that's the case, you're doing it right. Five seconds, three, two, one. 20 seconds rest, wow. Have a sit down. Lovely. Whew. You can certainly feel the difference when you do strength with conditioning. Remember, we've got a nice bit of rest now. We've got just over one minute. Mm. Mm. Definitely need some water after that. Now, if all of that felt great, for our third and final round, I want you to do the same thing. Be nice and explosive with your movements. If it didn't feel quite right, then feel free to slow it down. If it tired you out too much, for example, you think, okay, that's a bit too much for me, a bit too intense, that's fine. Slow it down. It's not a problem. In fitness, we're constantly building up to get stronger, fitter, etc., etc. It's fine if you're not quite there yet. As I said, you could do a month's worth of our FFG sessions, come back to this one, you think, yeah, I'm ready for that now. So, it's all good. You can either move slowly or quickly. Right, in 20 seconds, and that's when we're going to start our final round. So let's get ready to go. Let's get nicely in position. So if you're using weights today, put your weights together. If not, stick your fists together. Feet a little bit wider than shoulders. Shoulders back and down. Look forward into our sumo deadlift in three, two, one. Slow on the way down, drive up. Slow on the way down, drive up. Slow on the way down, drive up. So I'm pushing into the ground. I'm popping the hips. You might feel your body sort of pop a bit. If that's the case, then fantastic. That's great. It means you're using your hips, you're using your legs to move. Over, I mean, sorry, we've just gone over the halfway. Under 20 seconds to go. 15, in fact. 15 seconds left. That's it. Don't lean back when you stand up. Don't hold your breath. You're doing a great job. Five. You've got three, two, one. Woo! Wow, that was tough. So remember, we've got our bicep curl, our dynamic bicep curl now. So just watch me a second. Shoulders back, dip the legs, or bend the legs, sorry. Dip and drive. Push into the ground, stand up straight, move the arms. Three, two, one, let's go. Dip and drive. Dip and drive. Bend the knees, straighten up. Move the arms with it. So again, it's like we're using, and we are, it's what we're doing. We're, we're using our lower body to move our arms because we're pushing into the floor. Well done, just keep those shoulders back as well, yeah? Stand up nice and tall, and even when I'm bending my knees, I'm not rounding over, my chest is still proud. Lovely, we're over halfway, you've got 15 seconds to go. Whew. This isn't easy, wow, 10 seconds. Keep going, last little bit, five. We've got three, two, one. 20 seconds of rest. Now our final exercise for this workout today is our push press. Dip and drive, dip and drive. Bend the knees, just slightly, push into the ground, explode up. Remember, you can do the slow, strict version if it doesn't feel right. Three, two, one, let's go. Dip and drive, dip and drive. Dip and drive, lovely, good job. Fantastic, last exercise here. 
Our last weighted exercise today, if you are using weights. Woo! I'm definitely feeling this. You haven't got to go as quick as me. You haven't got to do as many reps as me. Work at your own pace. We're over halfway. In the nose, out the mouth is how I'm breathing. Well done. You've got 10 seconds. That's it. Keep going. Well done. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. And put your weights down. Woo. Have a sit down. Have a breather. Ladies and gentlemen, that is explosive training. It's strength and conditioning. It's putting the weights, the cardio together. It's tough, it's dynamic, but it's good. As I said, if you weren't quite there yet and you did all the exercises slow, well done for doing the exercises slow. Each type of movement, each way of movement has its own benefits. If you did want to move fast, but you just couldn't today, it wasn't right for you, do our sessions consistently. Try them for a month and then come back and do this one. It's all about making little short-term goals, building up to it and then finding the next thing you want to do. Right, enjoy your rest. However, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you've got another workout coming up. So I'd recommend taking at least three to five minutes rest before you start that. Get nice and recovered, drink some water, and then when you're ready, start workout number two. Great work, everybody. Right everybody, I hope you've recovered from workout number one and you're ready for workout number two. I do just want to say though, don't feel pressured to do both workouts in a session. If that was enough for you, that's fine. Just forward the video to the cool down. If not, we're going to do workout number two. Now workout number two is what I like to call descending endurance. It sounds fancy, but it isn't really. You've only got one movement and that is walking or jogging or sprinting on the spot. Now, for round number one, you're gonna do 60 seconds of work with a zero second rest. Yeah, that sounds quite bad, right? However, do hear me out. So you do the first round for 60 seconds with a zero second rest. But then round two, you're gonna work for 50 seconds with a 10 second rest. Round three, you're gonna work for 40 seconds with a 20 second rest. Round four, you're going to work for 30 seconds, rest for 30 seconds. Round five, you're going to work for 20 seconds and then rest for 40 seconds. And then round six, you're going to work just for 10 seconds and then we're done. You're going to get a 50 second rest and then the workout's over. Now, what we're going to, the aim of this, what we're going to do is we're going to start off by walking for 60 seconds. You'll have a zero second rest and then you're going to go a little bit quicker. You'll then have that 10 second rest. And then you're gonna go a bit quicker as we're doing the 40 seconds work with a 20 second rest and so on and so forth. The aim is, as the work time goes down and the rest time goes up, you go quicker, you've increased the intensity to make up for all the added rest you're getting. That said, if you feel too tired, just work at a pace that suits you, yeah? If you're still confused by what I said, don't worry about it. It's quite a hard workout to explain. When we begin, you'll, you'll get the gist of it. Trust me. Just follow along with me. Right, I'm going to have a sip of water and then we're going to get going. Mm. So on your feet, please. When I count you in to start my timer, we're going to do 60 seconds of walking on the spot or around the room. Three. Two, one, let's go. So just to walk to begin with, this is round number one. If you're walking around your room, just make sure you're not gonna trip over anything. So watch out for your weights, put, make sure your weights are put away safely if you were using them. And just make sure you've got a nice bit of space. This is round number one. Nice and easy. It's 60 seconds of work with a zero second rest. When I count you out, we're gonna be in round number two which is 50 seconds work with a 10 second rest. Because I'm getting that little bit more rest, well, I'm getting some rest to begin with, and I'm doing 10 seconds less work, I'm gonna go a little bit quicker. So first round, 
is our slowest round because we're working for the longest. And then we're going to keep getting faster and faster and faster as the time goes down. Right, in seven seconds we're going to be on round two, where we're going to work for 50 seconds and rest for 10. So I'm going to go a bit quicker. Three, two, one. So a little bit quicker now. I can actually walk uh, in a nice pattern now. When I walk slowly, I find it quite hard to walk slowly. So I was a little bit sort of swaying around there. But now that we're getting a good pace going, I'm going to walk in a good direction. You can just do it on the spot. However, if you do have enough room, feel free, as I said, to go around your room. And I'm going to mix it up during this workout. Again, remember to breathe. In 25 seconds, you're going to get a 10 second rest. That's a good job. Keep your shoulders back when we're walking around. Long, deep breaths. You've got 15 seconds until you get a nice 10 second rest. Enjoy it because that 10 seconds will go quickly. So just remember to breathe in your nose out your mouth when I, when, when I give you that rest. Well done. Three, two, one, and rest. Now, have a breather. In five seconds, we're going to work for 40 seconds. Rest for 20. Three, two, one. I'm going to start a nice slow jog for this one. I'm going to do some of it walking around and some of it on the spot. This round, round three, is 40 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. As I said, as the work time goes down, the rest time goes up, I get faster to account for that. Because as I get more rest, I'm starting to recover more. So I want to get faster just to make sure I'm still in that cardiovascular zone. Well done, five seconds. Three, two, one, 20 seconds rest. I'm gonna have a sit down for that 20 seconds, definitely gonna have a sip of water. Now round number, what are we on? Round number four, 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. Definitely gonna speed it up for this, it's half and half. Now get ready, three, two, one, let's go. So I'm definitely moving a little bit quicker because I know I'm getting a nice big 30 second rest at the end of it, and it's only 30 seconds work. The work's going down, the rest's going up every round. Good job, you've got 10 seconds. Make it worth your while, it's only 30 seconds work, you're getting a nice big rest in three, two, one, and 30 seconds rest. Whew. We're gonna be on to our second to last round in just over 20 seconds. You're gonna work for 20 seconds, you're gonna rest for 40 seconds. So make it worth your while. Go a little bit faster, this is only if you feel you can. Remember, you work at your own pace if not, but if you feel you can, make it worth your while. Right, are we ready? 20 seconds of work, nice and quick, in three, two, one, let's go. That's it, nice and quick, good job. That's it, well done gang. Yes, 10 seconds until we get a nice big rest. Well done. Big deep breaths in the nose, out the mouth. Three, two, one. Woo. Oh, one more round to go. And that last round is gonna be 10 seconds of work with a 50 second rest. And I say 50 second rest, of that 10 seconds you're done. So 10 seconds of work, Rest until you next do an FFG online session. Oh, right, so we've got about, from now, 15 seconds until we're gonna do 10 seconds of work. It's just 10 seconds. Make it worth your while. On your feet, I'm gonna sprint on the spot for this one. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Only 10 seconds, go for it, well done. Halfway. Three, two, one, and have a rest. If you want to keep your legs moving, I'd recommend it. I'm going to do a sitting down. I think you deserve a seat. Whew. Especially if you just did both of those workouts today, that was tough. Whew. So the purpose of that was, the more work we've got to do, the slower we make it, just so we can keep moving for the whole time. As the work rate goes down, the rest goes up, I get quicker, I increase the intensity just to account 
for that. It's a good way to manage your pace and a good way to really build into getting some speed going because every round you're trying to get a bit quicker. And have a complete rest there. Well done everybody. Definitely drink some water after that. That was tough. It was a really tough session today, very cardiovascular based. So your heart rate was up, probably sweating quite a bit. So have some water, replenish uh, with some water. Mm. Now, have as much rest as you need before the cool down, but the hard bit's out the way. Get ready, have a nice, good stretch. Well done, everybody. Right, for this cool down and stretch, just follow along with me, relax, and remember, you've done the hard work now, enjoy how you're feeling. Right, just like when we warmed up, we're going to stick our feet as close together as possible. If putting them really close together affects your balance, you know, makes you a bit wobbly, then just make them a bit wider, it's not a problem. Right, feet nice and close, tuck the chin, round the shoulders, slowly make your way down towards the floor, don't try and touch the floor, just hold here. And just breathe when you're here as well. Your legs can be bent a little bit, but they are more or less straight. So just, just bear that in mind. Long, deep breaths. And breathing through it, lovely. Just letting your body sort of hang. You can hold on to your legs if you want, but you're aiming to find a nice stretch down the back of the legs, maybe the lower, middle and upper back as well. You might find you're a little bit lower than when we warmed up. Now your body's nice and warm. And slowly come out of that stretch. Reach up towards the sky. And what we're gonna do here, we're just gonna shift our hips out. So I'm off to the right. And then I'm gonna go back over to the left. And I'm gonna do a couple more of these. A nice stretch through the hips, the ribs, and the middle of the upper spine. Get a nice bit of rotation. Oh, lovely. And that's it, one more. Take your hands, put them on your lower back, pull your elbows back and down, chest prowl, look slightly up and ahead. Pushing my chest out, but not leaning back with my lower back. Long deep breaths. Trying to open up through the front of the shoulders, so stretching through this point. Release that stretch, take both hands, put them on both elbow, either elbow like so, so you're crossing them over. I'm gonna round forward slightly, I'm gonna pull my arms away from me, I'm gonna tuck my chin, look at the floor, hopefully feeling a good stretch from uh, your middle of your upper spine. I'm actively trying to pull my arms away from me and that's how I'm creating the stretch. Release that stretch, keep your chin where it is, interlink your fingers, put them on the back of your head, close your elbows, look down at the floor, a little bit of pressure on the back of the head to get a nice stretch through the neck or the middle of the upper back. Release that stretch. Now, hold on to something for this next stretch. Make sure it's nice and stable though. Be it your chair, a wall, a ledge, anything you want to use, something that's nice and stable. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our left heel or foot up to our bum. If you can't get it that high, just raise the leg, use your clothing to hold on, however you want to do it. You can stand nice and tall. Remembering to breathe. Lovely. And let's just swap sides. So move it. Over, holding on, right leg goes up. That's it, well done. And again, just breathing, enjoying that feeling. That was a very, very tough workout today. But well done, you know. Sometimes we've got to push past those tough workouts to get stronger, to get fitter, to get more explosive. And we did something new in today's session as well. Well, not something brand new, something we don't do often. So it's always nice to sort of mix it up a bit. So good job. Right, release that stretch. Have a little sit down. And now all I'm gonna do is bring my left foot on top of the right leg. So like I'm almost sitting cross-legged. From here, I'm gonna place a little bit of pressure onto my uh, left knee, push it down ever so gently. 
like so. If it's already very tight here, you don't need to do this part. You can just sort of let it sit there. And we're just holding here for stretching the hips, the glutes, the side of the leg. Well, I don't know, but I hope you enjoyed today's session. I hope if you did the explosive work, if you, you know, you tried to give that a go, let us know how you got on. Was it easy? Was it hard? Did it feel okay? You know, were you ready for it yet? If you didn't do it, tell us, were you not ready for that yet? We want all your feedback, how you're benefiting from the sessions, more exercises you'd like to see in the sessions, and all that sort of stuff. And let's swap sides. Oh, one side is definitely tighter than the other. So my right side like now, oh, that was hard to get up. I had to, I had to pull my foot into place, so you might have to do the same. Now, if it feels okay, a little bit of pressure on top of that right knee. If you do want to leave a comment, please do. Uh, you can do it underneath the video on YouTube, or if you are uh, on our website at the moment, you're viewing this via our website, fitforgood.com, uh, there's a comment section under the video, so just scroll down on the page after you're done and leave us a comment. It's always nice to hear from you as well. If you have any photos of you doing the session, send them to us. We'd like to see you in action. We'd like to see you doing the sessions. It's always good to see. Right, release that stretch. Sit nice and tall now. Right hand on the left shoulder, left hand on the right elbow, just like so. I'm gonna pull it in, and then across to the left. Long, deep breaths. A nice stretch through the side of the shoulder. Now, if you want more sessions like this and you wanna do them whenever you want, you can always do these whenever you want and you can do as much as you like. You can find more of these at fitforgood.com, click FFG online. There you'll find a whole growing library of sessions. There's so many on there, so many different workouts for you to choose from and swap sides. Left hand on the right shoulder. Uh, right hand, I forgot, I've, I even forgot the coordination. Left hand on the right shoulder, right hand on the left elbow, pull it in and across to the right. Yeah, we've got so many different workouts on there. Uh, we've got seated sessions that Mira does. We've got quick exercises that you can do. We've got tips. We've got full workouts. You can do all of this at any time you like. Give them a go. See how you got on. Comment on those videos. Give us your feedback. Again, we'd love to hear from you. And release that stretch. Right, the last one we're going to do today. Have your feet nice and wide. Let your body sink down like so. Be careful not to fall off your chair and just let your body sink down here. You can hold on to the floor if you get that far. If not, hold on to your legs, your shins, your ankles, wherever you go. Tuck your chin and we're just going to hang out here a little bit. A nice stretch for the lower back. Again, just remember to breathe. Right, we're going to come out in just a second, but let me just say first, do it nice and slowly. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Nice and slowly. Come out. Oh, wow. What a tough session today, but you did it. You always get it done, and that's the important thing. Well done, everybody. As I said, more of these, fitforgood.com. Click FFG online. Subscribe to us on YouTube at Fit For Good. Bookmark our website, leave us some comments, we'd love to hear from you. Great work everybody, I'll see you in the next Fit For Good online session. One thing I do want you to do now is give yourself a huge round of applause. Have a great rest of your day.